Hello, I'm Gary Newman. I'm at Sonosphere 2010 outside the Gibson bus. And the uh, question is, if you ever got to meet anyone that you uh, were your hero before you made it, um, was it a cool thing or was it actually slightly disappointing? Uh, what's up, Rock Sounds? This is Jamie, and this is March of the Raptors. We're here at Sonosphere outside of the Gibson bus. It's very nice. Uh, we've got to answer a question from Gary Newman. Our response to his fantastic question would be, well, Gary, uh, I met N-Dubs the other day, and they were really nice. They are heroes. Dappy let me have his phone to make a of with him. Uh, I met I met Mike Patton once and he was really nice. He didn't like the month we yeah. I do I love Mike Patton. Dear Mike Patton, I love you. <laughs> okay, so our question would be, Calvin, uh, if you could be any dinosaur, which dinosaur would you be? That's our question. I'm in Death of Honor with Sonosphere 2010 outside the Gibson bus. To answer March of the Raptors question which was. Was it? Oh yeah. Um, what what is your favourite dinosaur and why would you be them? We would be what have we decided? Bird one. Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. Yeah, we'd be a pterodactyl so we could fly. Stegosaurus. Why would you be a stegosaurus? It's got bloody like hexagonal things in it. I'd be a T-Rex. Spiky triangle. Yeah, that's nothing like a T-Rex. I have a T-Rex. Look. Look. You're a fucking T-Rex. You love dolphins ever, I thought. Dolphins. Our question for the next band is. What's your favourite shaped pebble? Pebble, yes. And why? And what colour? Hey guys, this is Oli. And this is Yusuf. And we are from Turisas. Uh, our answer for the question, what kind of pebble? I don't know. The colour, we can't really come up with any colours, you know, like we are very blonde. Maybe red and black? Probably. Probably red and black. And the size is roughly the size of our ball, so that would be like a fist. So, so that's our answer. Hello. Sorry. <laughs> our question for the next band is what is the last thing you have killed? Hello, hi. We're 65 Days of Static and we're here in front of Gibson's bus um, at Sonsphere 2010. And uh, the last thing I killed was some uh, bindweed on my allotment uh, yesterday, which had grown over the weekend while I was at um, another festival. Do you think um, corporate advertising detracts from the true spirit of rock and roll or not? This is Charlotte for Rock Sound TV and I'm at Sun is Fair Festival. Okay, so to answer the last band's question, do I think that corporate advertising distracts from the spirit of Hong Kong? Actually, I think you can do that, but it's totally up to the band if you let it distract. Because also in corporate advertising you can use creativity and like what the band is all about to express it. So, um, if it's non-creative, I don't think it has to be totally on board and on board and board. But that's just up to the band itself. Okay, the question to the next band is like the weirdest question I've got in the last couple of weeks. It was from a Japanese guy and he asked the following question. If you were a fish, what kind of fish would you be? Nothing about that. Okay, this was Charlotte. Bye-bye.